Um, right, so first, uh, a 2D character thing on a 2D plane and jumps around and kind of animates and whatnot. So uh, this version has a running animation. Look at him go! And um, and all of this animation in animation actually responds to how it's moving and stuff, as opposed to like pressing the right button or the left button. Just if it goes, if it's falling down a slope or if it's falling off the side of a thing, then it will still react um, with the right animations. So if I did that and I jumped up here then he's got the jumping uh, frame of animation so um, first let's make a cube sculpt um, and then everything is controlled in this cube sculpt basically so now we add a microchip and what I tend to do is put it in the center of the cube sculpt and if I turn on X-ray, then we can see it. Uh, because then, if we put like a, uh, if we put a tag on it or something, then it will just have that that central position by default, and it'll be fine. Um, just uh, realign it. If you grab uh, something and then press triangle, then it realigns it to the grid to make sure it's actually on there. Um, now those will be grouped like this and then the chip will affect the whole group so that when you tell it tell things to move it moves the whole group and when you sense collisions and stuff it, it senses it for the whole group. Uh, now we can turn that off and we'll get the basic movement in there. So we'll turn make this uh, movable so that when you play time just falls to the ground that's fine and then let's put in a controller and a advanced mover so that we can tell it to move in different ways in different directions um, now we'll be using the left stick local which means it's not like if you if you look at it from this angle it doesn't change what the values are than if you're looking at it from this angle so we don't have to worry about that for for uh, this kind of control. So we use the left stick local and plug the X into X, which is, as you can see on there, X is that way. And just turn down the speed on the other axes, uh, turn up strength a bit, and a bit of dampening, and turn off the damping in the other Oh, we're going to use it add on because we don't actually we want it to stay on this plane uh, and just move around like that and not not run off back away from the camera so we can just leave the Z um, damping which is um, ha uh, this gadget's ability to stop it from moving in that, those uh, directions uh, cool so now if I go let's just add a camera so let's put that on there, so it zoomed out a bit. And then we'll put this onto remote control and then we'll go into play mode and move left and right just fine. Uh, cool, so that's the basics. And then we can add a jump. So I'll use a signal manipulator to um, pulse, which means it just like turns on and off really fast so we use the X button going into the signal manipulator when you start holding the X button it'll do this pulse uh, that comes out the other side out of the output and we want that to uh, turn on an upward mover so you turn on the grid and then drag that arrow up now it's pointing up and we don't need damping we can put it full movement strength um, and we'll take the output of that and power the mover so now move around left and right and when you press X then it jumps but if I just hold X like this 
then it will fall back to earth. I'd like to thank Cold Bjorns, Jack Power, MDKD99, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Thanks for watching. If you'd like me to continue making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.